What's happening, guys? Venomous Fat Man here, and I got a new segment of The Verdict for you right now. This time, I'm talking about probably one of my most favorite animated shows from back when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure many of you have seen this already. You know, it's probably some one that goes amongst probably some of the best uh, superhero cartoons, you know, that of all time. You know, it's great. It's Justice League. I'm going to show you guys here. Here's the box. You know, here's the back. There you go. The original Justice League cartoon. This is another one of the spin-offs, you know, from the original Batman the Animated Series. And by the way, Batman the Animated Series to me and to a lot of other people is probably one is pro if not it's probably the best animated series of a superhero that has ever been made to date because it gets it so right for the character, you know, it's just the tone, everything, all that jazz. It's awesome. The only one that comes even close and that doesn't quite get it right so much would be the original uh, Spider-Man that was on Fox Kids, but Batman reigns supreme. Now, anyway, getting back to Justice League, like I said, it was another one of the spinoffs from Batman the Animated Series. The other one that came before Justice League was Superman the Animated Series, you know, because they did both of the world's finest uh, cartoons first. Now, WB came out and said, went to DC Comics and was like, listen, we have all these characters that we could do. It would take forever to give each character their own separate TV show as much as we, we might want to do it. Let's do some, the one where it's all of them put together and you have access to all, we have access to all these different DC characters, which is cool. So they ended up making Justice League. So now, not only do you have Batman and Superman on the same show, which, you know, at one point was like, oh my God, that's freaking awesome. But now you have Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Jon Stewart, you have the Martian Manhunter, Hawk Girl, and the Flash. Now, that wasn't the original JLA members from back in the day, way early on in the days of early comics. But, you know, it's a minor change of stuff, but the fact is, it's the Justice League, and it's, you know, right there, it's on the screen, and it's awesome. Now, later on in the series, you know, this, this box said season two, there's also, you could check out season one. Later on in the series, you also get the appearance of Aquaman, which is, you know, awesome, because Aquaman was an original member of the JLA back in the day, but they never had him as a starter, in, at least in this series. Then, once you get further, you know, once they got past a certain amount of seasons, and they moved forward... What they did now is that now they expanded the universe because there were so many characters appearing, you know, as cameos or as like secondary heroes or villains and stuff. Now they decided to compass everybody from the DC universe or at least, you know, a huge chunk of it, you know, that WB had access to. And that's when they made Justice League Unlimited. This is the season one box set, but there's also season two out there also. Which now, as opposed to the original seven, seven members that they had in the first series, now the Justice League is expanding to the just, uh, a huge uh, society of superheroes that, you know, defend truth, justice, and, you know, all that jazz. You know, American way, whatever. So now you get uh, other appearances by other, D, uh, what is it, DC characters that are part of the JLA. Like Black Canary, The Green Arrow, Supergirl, Booster Gold, Blue Beetle, all these characters that weren't in the original Justice League cartoon are now coming into light, you know, on national ch television and actually making an appearance in the world that DC, uh, was it, Warner Brothers was setting up for these DC comic book characters, which worked very well, and a lot of people really responded to it very well when it was initially created. What was also cool is how they actually uh, brought, to, brought to light, you know, the different villains of the DC universe, because usually in a lot of the older episodes about Batman and Superman and stuff, it was very rare that you would have crossovers of like villains or like heroes together. It would be usually just like one main center villain at the forefront of that episode. And then by the end of that episode, that villain was thwarted. Now in Justice League and then eventually a lot more in Justice League Unlimited, you started seeing the appearance of a lot more DC villains, which were a lot more crazier, including the Injustice League, which was led by, Le in this series, is led by Lex Luthor and Gorilla Grodd. You know, there's a whole bunch of other, like, villains in there that, you know, make appearance, including Sinestro, including, uh, what is it, Giganta, uh, the list goes on because there's so many characters. And eventually you get other DC uh, characters and heroes that should have been initially in the forefront but weren't, like Hal Jordan. You get Dr. Fate. You get all these different crazy characters that, you know, that DC fans would go nuts for that, make, that they make appearances in this actual cartoon. And it does it tastefully. That's the good thing. With each one of these characters, both hero and villain, the, was it the creators of this show really took the time to really give them their own personalities and really make them work for themselves and give them their own personality while working with the overall, you know, setup of the universe and the overall story arc and everything that was going on in the actual TV show. It all blends together really nicely. You don't get any stupid things like Batman being super friendly. Batman kind of, you know, 
makes himself, you know, puts himself in his own world and he kind of, you know, separates himself from the league. Like he's helping them, but he's not really, really helping them or he's not really, you know, explicitly coming out and saying like, okay, I'm going to help you. He's kind of, you know, being the dark knight, as I should actually say. You know, the characters are the characters and they're done the right way that we all as comic book fans really want to see them expressed, you know, especially on something that's, you know, on like live TV, whatever. Make them come to life on the screen. Which is really cool. So I love this show. You know, I went back and I watched a ton of the episodes. You know, I've seen, I've to date, I've probably seen all the episodes that have been made because this series stopped, uh, what is it, going on TV at some point, maybe like a good couple of years ago. I could be wrong. But it stopped. It would have been awesome, you know, if they continued more with the actual episodes because the storylines and stuff were pretty good. The best, and I'm not going to spoil too much, but a lot of you fans that have seen the final episode of Justice League Unlimited remember the good fight between Darkseid and Superman. So I won't spoil any more than that. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look it up somewhere or go get the DVD collection to check it out because you have to see that. It's awesome. It is amazing. You know, it's a lot of st great stuff comes from this show. And any every anybody that's a comic book fan, if you haven't already, should definitely see this. Anybody that's trying to get into comics should definitely check this out. But anyway, that's just my thoughts, guys. You know, I'm a huge fan of this series. Leave your comments and video responses. I don't mind. Just keep it civil. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know some of your favorite heroes from any of the episodes from either Justice League or Justice League Unlimited. Let me know about this. You know, talk about your favorite episodes. Talk about your favorite villains. Throw it all on there, guys. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Venomous is out. This has been The Verdict. Enjoy your day, guys. Talk to you later.